Hey! 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 Welcome, hey. welcome, welcome. This is Richard and Christy Highwalker, Fire Tribe Global Academy, Host yeah. Ministries Church, Amen, Freedom Fire International Ministry, yeah. coming to you live here on Facebook. Live. Amen. Let me start my stuff. Live. Live, live action. Live action. Live action, baby. Live action. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Let me fix this. I like it. Yeah. Live action. Hello, yeah, 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 yeah. live action here from yeah. the drive-by church, amen and amen. Uh-oh, I didn't get it quite set right. You mean turn it up a little or just better leave it alone? Hey, we're still trying to work the bugs out here in the studio, but it's coming around. Our just lights bear are in with there. us. Oh, look, oh, our lights are in yeah. there. Oh, well. Uh, well. It's all right. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Amen. It ain't lots. Them are orbs. Them are orbs. Ah! Orbs. <laughs> the amen. angels are among us. And amen, everybody. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Has everybody had a good day today? I got to get this all set up. Amen. Has your day been good today, Richard? Yeah, it's been pretty productive. Has it been pretty productive? Yeah. What have you been working on today? A little, little bit on my book, my message for Smoke Signal, and... Uh, Ministering in between. Well, amen to that. How amen. about yourself? Amen. I have had day. a very productive, right. very busy day. Uh, oh. Amen. Very excited. We're going to just give everybody a few minutes to come online because... What are you, what are you wearing? Uh, uh, that, that Sorry is, to interrupt, um, but man, that's about... Daisy. Ooh, it smells days. good. Amen. We want to give you everybody a few it? moments <laughs> to get uh, online with us tonight yeah. because we have a word... Amen for the entrepreneurs. We have oh, a my. word for the for the workplace. We have the word I that the wait. Father has begun to develop down in us. Amen for the paymasters, for Thank the you, kingdom Lord. paymasters. For the setback is a setup for a comeback. Amen. Mm. And I have a very specific word tonight for the marketplace. Amen. If you are yes. working in the marketplace, you do anything in the marketplace. Amen. You want to get on this message. If you know somebody that is working in the marketplace, please get a hold mm, of them. them know. Please tell them to. Get Get online, amen, and tell them to get this message, amen, because you don't want to miss this. This is going to be a amen. prophetic impartation, amen, of the manifestation of this word that God has given us for Thank this you. time, for such a time as this, amen. Hey, so I'm going to give just a few Sandy. moments, amen, to <laughs> let him finish. <laughs> But um, to give everybody a few moments to get online, because I know a lot of people are just getting off work. We were scheduled for Tuesday night, but we're coming in tonight. And as a matter of fact, starting next week, amen, we're going to move the drive-by church from Tuesday night into Wednesday night. Mm. Okay, because um, uh, Pastor Wilma and Leonard, amen, have their services on Tuesday night. And yes. so we went there at, at Hub Church. And so we want to be able to support them when we can. You bet. And we you want bet. to not have our service interacting because the two mm. ministries are one. Amen. So we will be moving next week officially Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Amen. So you guys make sure and help us get the word out. Please go ahead for a moment. For some reason your sound isn't working. Slide it down Cindy and slide it back up and it should make your sound come on. Amen. Hello. Everybody else got sound. Hello Missy. Bertha you got sound? I don't want to get rocking and rolling unless I know Bert. that you do. Bert. Bert you got sound? Come in, Mayday, Mayday. Can somebody tell me if there's sound, please? I know that Cindy is having trouble, but sometimes it's just because you've got to click it back down and rise it back up. I have sound, You have Bert. sound. Okay, all right. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, yeah. Bert. Thank you, thank, thank you, you. Bert. Cin Cindy, Cindy, close Grr. the video down. Just slide it down with your finger, and it'll go down to the little box, and then click it back up, and you should have sound. If not, click up at the, at the corner. The, the um, deal might be on um, uh, mute. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to take just a few moments here tonight, amen, because this is a broadcast like none before. This is the Tipping Point Part 3 tipping point. tonight. Oh, man, I'm mm, telling you, I'm the excited. last few weeks has been astounding. Yes. And I'm telling you, this word that God has given me for the Kingdom Paymasters, for the tipping point of the marketplace, 
It is a now active word. And so tonight, well, I was led by the Father because we actually got a prophetic word given to us. Thank you, Miss Stacy Nelson. Oh, yes. That confirmed everything you, about everything in our lives from the from the detour from Italy, from mm. for I mean, she she hit everything about everything. going back in full-time ministry, about the new job um, and, and the new design, the new uh, High Walker Design Company that's going to be opening up in June. I mean, everything, 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 the studio, everything that she talked about, the shift and the change in Richard, everything she talked about, she had no idea. I hadn't talked to her and she came and confirmed everything. Well, mm, this right goes in and she talked about the creativity. Yeah. And I just last night, was asking God because we're, we're launching this new business. Um, and then we are full-time ministry, Freedom Fire International Ministry, full-time uh, school of prophets, full-time school of ministry, full-time partnership with, with host ministries church. Amen. And Amen. I was like, Lord, Amen. am I going to be able to do this? And, and then we're going to begin hand to have Wednesday Word, which will be at 8.45 a.m. every Wednesday morning for a quick little um, less than 15 minute broadcast. And then we're going to be having, um, we're going to be having um, the Mentor. Yes. yes. The Mentor Program. It's a talk show that's coming in June. It's going to be a weekly talk show. I'm going to try to be 30 minutes. 30 minutes. minutes. Amen. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're going to have special guests, yeah. special speakers, special topics. It's going to be amazing. Hey, Italy! Christian! Christian, Birth brother! Christian's online. So, anyway. My Italian brother! So, tonight's word goes with exactly what she came and prophesied to us last night about. It goes with the creativity of the things that God has given you. Amen. Amen. There is no one exempt. Yeah, there may be more that work Brother in the Mike. marketplace, but there's a creative anointing that's going to be imparted through this. There's a prophetic word that's going to come out through this. So please, everybody, do me a favor right quick. Click the little share button down at the end. Uh, down at the bottom, share it over to your page, amen, and um, we want as many people that we can to get this broadcast, get it in their hands, because it's a tool that is going to really change and shift to make a difference, and so tonight, for anyone that would sow a seed, and the information is on the broadcast here, anyone that would sow a seed, amen, into the ministry tonight, we're going to give some options of some product that we have donated into Freedom Fire Ministry that we would like to um, give for amen. those that would give a donation over $10 tonight night ten dollars over a thousand dollars fine ten thousand dollars is fine crap a million dollars is fine if you want to amen it amen. will all go to good use but but tonight some of our products that god told me to highlight because it goes with this message is the tongues of fire book Mm, yeah, this yeah, yeah. This little book is a simple power pack book about why you need to be armed and dangerous, like Richard and I call it, in the spirit. This is what I call it when you have true understanding mm. about tongues, hey. why you need them, why you have them, what they are for, the difference Amen. of the gift of the spirit and, then, and speaking in tongues, the difference of our prayer language, because there's so much more than just the prayer language. Amen. And so this is a tool that you need in your arsenal. Amen. You can go to khmstore.com. Dot com and order any of these products. But tonight, if you give a donation through the Cash App, amen, anyone giving a donation tonight through the Cash App or through you can give to 405-261-5446 by texting the word GIVE, amen, you can go to Freedom Fire Ministry 09.com, click all the way down to the bottom, click the green link. Anything given in tonight, you will get a product of your choice of one of these, okay? Can't and beat that. No, our newest book is what called deal. Pure Fright. Pear oh, yeah. I'm excited about oh, this. Oh, we are so excited about this one. We are so excited about this one. I'm telling you, it's raising a prophetic generation. Peer fright. How to conquer one's fear in prophesying around one's peers. This is a little simple but power-packed book. Oh, in this yeah, book, we'll is. be talking about the realities of peer fright. Amen. We find Amen. it all throughout the world today. No matter if it's a church, our jobs, our classes, no matter where it might be, it is found across the board. So this book will will be a, something you so need in your arsenal. Uh, you, it will help you whether it's in your ministry, whether it's just at church, whether it's in your own family, whether it is in your workplace. This is a book you Amen. want to have yes. in your arsenal. Amen. And so our next book, Richard, is, is one that we're very excited about about amen. amen and it is called the power of prayer and fasting 
the power of prayer and fasting. Jesus knew the key to breakthrough in all that he did. He did through examplehood. And he knew how to live a supernatural life. And that key was fasting. This little bitty book, it is only, let's see, it is only 41 pages long. But these 41 pages will launch you into the yes, next round, yes. amen, of, of breakthrough. Very powerful. And very simplicity, very simplistic, and teach you how, why you want to pray, how you want to pray, and why you want to fast, and how you want to fast, and the benefits, what comes with it. It will open your eyes and understanding to greater measure of prayer and fasting. Amen. So then, of course, mm, as you yay. all know, now one of those will be... Any one of these threes for any gift over $10 tonight that's given on Cash App or any of our deals that's given tonight, you can have your choice in one of these three books. Okay, but we also want to advertise tonight, again, our Sparks Ooh, to yeah. Ignite. Amen. This book is going across Sparks. it as we get testimonies almost daily of people that's being imparted Terrible. and impacted and sparked and ignited by this book. We Me. so pray that soon we'll be able to get Volume 2, 3, and 4 out. Um can't I, wait, can't I, wait. I can't wait. I really am uh, just torn because we thought we would have it out last year. And so just be with us on that. And plus, prison to the pulpit. We we pray, um, keep fasting and interceding with us that those things come through and we're able to get those done. And then Richard yeah. has a new book coming out that he's almost finished with. It's called The Man with Time in His Hands. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that, honey. Mm, it's powerful. It's a uh, combination of a dream and a vision that God has given me. The man that holds time in his hands. <laughs> the title pretty much tells it all. But I don't want to give it away. I should have it out pretty quick. I, I'm working on it hard and fast and heavy. Fast I, and heavy. Because I want it out. God wants it out. So it, it'll be released pretty soon. I, I do all the illustrations in there's what, yes. what's taking uh, yes. so long. Yes. Sim this time it don't seem like the writing's taking this long but the illustrations, yeah. man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm jealous. He gets all those things. I don't get them. Another book we you want to tell you about. One. Well, we are one, but. Oh, I love this book. Uh, this book has been such this a, is my a manual. tool, mm. such a manual. Training device. manual. This it is says, a Gun man. Jesus, Now What? It is a fabulous promise book. It is designed to be your daily companion on your new life of daily living yeah. with Jesus. Now, this is excellent for anybody just getting saved, uh -huh. but it is something, it is a tool you can whip out and pull out for anybody that's been saved for years. With everything, it has a topic. See, it has a topic, and with every topic, it gives you scriptures, but what's unique Huh? I'm just going to say it's it's good for the newborn up to the old veteran yes. of the gospel. Yes. And yes. all things in between. <laughs> Amen. And well, what's so <laughs> powerful about this book is it not only gives you the scriptures, but then it also has a impartation yeah. prayer yes. and prophetic word mm -hmm. inside of it. And as well as, you know, sometimes people don't know what to pray. They've got a situation. They don't know how to pray. In the back, we have tons of prayers for different topics. Well, it gives you know? a guideline. You get a scripture with it, then you get a guideline and then you get a, a prophecy going. I mean, yes. it's a power packed book. Power packed book. It teaches us all about the dynamics of dysfunction. A lot of people don't want to talk about that, but we, it, we've we discovered that it, it is something that is missing. And we uh, have discovered yeah, that yeah. it's not enough to tell people to get Jesus. But they say, I got Jesus, now what? And so this book will help them to understand their new creation, how to put on the armor, how to put on the new, their thoughts, their words, even down to what to do about making new friends and Amen. how to make new yeah. friends and, and all this. And we are very, very excited um, that we still have freedom steps in the works and it's getting Amen. closer Amen. and closer and closer. And so we do hope to have that in production as well. It Gosh, is a faith-based. We've been busy. We've been busy. <laughs> It is a faith-based hey. program for any life-controlling situation, whether no matter what it is, amen, drugs, addiction, alcoholism, porn, um, uh, perfectionism. I mean, we, we did, for many, many years, did a wonderful program called Overcomers. And God has been speaking to us for years that said that we need to write our own program with our life stories and, and teach people about boundaries and, and just a little bit of the next with it. And so that is what we're in the creation of doing. So that has been our 911 newsflash. All right, Nathan, we love you. Uh, and the announcements for tonight. Are you guys ready to get right on in? Oh, to the right on in. Here tonight. Let's Amen. Do it. We are thrilled, 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 Let's thrilled. Let's do it. 
thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Got your pens, got your papers. Amen. Are you ready to go to the next realm? Let's Amen. Do it. I'm Let's ready. do it. Let's go with it. All right, here we go with hey. any further delay. Richard, open us up in prayer, Whoa. baby. Oh, Father, I just come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. The name that gives us great revelations, the name that gives us great dreams and yes. visions. You give it all to us. So, Father, as the apostle goes forth with the tipping point word, <laughs> Let us get into the tipping point. Let us receive the tipping point. Yes. Let us become that tipping point for you, Father God. And Father, I just lift up each and every one that's watching tonight, Father God. I speak blessings over them. I speak the blood of Jesus on them, not over them, yeah. on <laughs> them. Yes, yes, yes. And Father, I speak it on this message. I speak it over my wife. I speak it over the apostle as she goes forth. Because she actually almost, I mean, she's, she's like she's gone and God is here. So I'm very blessed myself, but I speak blessings over this service tonight. I speak blessings over your word, Father, yes, yes. and what an honor it is to represent you, Jesus. What an honor it is to represent your word. Yes. Now we seal it all in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, Cindy, I'm so sorry, honey. I know that it's just in your uh, completely close it out. Go to a new post and, and try watching it, sis. What you do? Hallelujah. I know she's still not AV. Hey, 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 Lynn. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Good to have you on the broadcast. Love you, love you, love you. All right, guys, here we go. Somebody say it's a tipping point. It's a tipping point. Hey, it's a tipping point. It's a tipping oh, point. Oh, it's a tipping point. Hallelujah. Tipping point. I'm telling you what, God is so excited. Yes, that is what I said. God is so excited. Amen. For he knows the plans and the purposes oh. that he has for his children. Amen. And somebody you, needs Lord. to understand this. The setback was a setup for the comeback. And now we're at the tipping point of the Come back. And God says right in the middle of a pandemic, I'm about to do something so big. You need to get hey. ready for the big takeaway. I'm about to do something so big that the world will not be able to oh, deny it. On, and I'm going to use my children to supply it. Hey, I'm going to use my children to move and to groove. Amen. I'm going to use move my children and groove. to oh. overtake not just the airwaves, mm, but the ah. marketplace. Woo! Yes, Father. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Father. Glory, God. glory, mm. glory. So the last three weeks we have been talking about the tipping point. Oh, you yes. need to go onto face, uh, Facebook or YouTube, either one. You can look up Christy Highwalker on YouTube, and you can get all the previous services tonight. But tonight I am here to tell you that I am waiting to install. I've got a prophetic word. It's like I've got a secret that is ready to be told. Amen. God is ready for it to come forth. Thank you, Jesus. Yay, Cindy, glad, 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 oh, glad, glad, you got it. Okay, listen, because you've got to get this understanding. This is a now word. Somebody say now. Now, I'm now, all now. Across the broadcast, I want you to begin to write now. I want you to begin to say, tipping point, come to me. Oh, tipping come on, point, somebody. come to me. See, I'm a prophetic person. I'm an apostolic builder. And tonight we are building. And tonight I am telling you, the foundation, now. the overtaking of the marketplace is happening. Oh, I'm going to tell you that it is now. Say somebody with me. Say, tipping point. Tipping point. Come to me. Come to me. You are mine. You're mine. Now, I want us to understand, when we're calling upon the tipping point, we're calling upon the critical point. It is that which is strategic mm. in time. And we are at a strategic time in which the kingdom of God is on a comeback. God said, Amen. right in the middle of the pandemic, I'm about to move. Right in the middle, I'm going to have such a move of me <laughs> yes, that it Lord. will not be deniable. Yeah. And the world won't be able to deny it. My own children won't be able to deny it. It will be known who is the supplier. And he said, I am about to move in such a way. I'm about about to make impossibilities possible. Yeah, yeah, I'm about yeah, yeah, to yeah. turn the nose into some yeses. I'm about to turn some some layouts <laughs> into some layups. Come on now, somebody. Ah, on, you thought you've been laid down. Hey. You've been laid out. But God said the layout was just to lay you up into the kingdom supply. Oh, yes. Ooh, because for man. so long, the children of God have been provided their own way. We've been in the world's way, the world's economics. But God is telling us today, He is yeah, charging us today to out. come out. Come somebody out, say, I'm out. coming out. Mm, coming out. It's the tipping point. Come on, come on. 
Every business, you know somebody that's got a business. You know somebody that's got an idea. You know entrepreneurs, get yes, them on this broadcast. Yes. Get them on. There is an anointing that is throwing through this broadcast. Yeah, there is an anointing that is on me right now that is so strong, I almost can't speak because yeah, it, yeah, the yeah, power yeah. of God is here. The overtaking is here. The implementing is here. Oh, I'm telling you, it's a tipping point. Praise you, Father. All right, here we go. Yeah, so a tipping fun. point. It's the point in which you cannot turn back. Somebody say, it can't be turned back. It can't be turned back. See, when God does something, it can't be stopped and it can't be turned back. But God told me to tell his people there's a turning point and there's a tipping point and it is yours and it is starting now. Oh, that you're about to see the greatest move of not just revival on the earth realm, but you're about to see the greatest move of hey, the kingdom economics. God said the kingdom economics oh, is coming to invade wow. the earth realm. I'm doing it right in the midst of the pandemic, right in the midst of the layout and the layoff. Oh, yes, Come yes, on. yes, yes. Yes, oh, Rabbi Sacha. I got a Yay. word for somebody tonight. It's a tipping point. point. It's a tipping point. I'm telling you, businesses are about to prosper. Businesses are about to be started. There is people that are starting to hear things from God. Oh, you're about to Whoa. start some new businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're about to start some new corporations. You're about to start some new LLCs. Yeah. You're about to, you got some creative ideas. And you've tried before on some of them. But it wasn't time. God said because it would have just been good. But when I'm in Thank a Point. Uh, and it's going to be outstanding. It's going to be astonishing. It's going to be mind-blowing. It's going to be so yeah, prosperous uh, because you're going to have such an understanding that it is not for you to wrap all up into your bags, but it is to move the kingdom on the earth realm. Hey, I see. Praise you, Father. Better get you a drink on that Woo. Wow. Woo. Wow. Mm. Praise God. What a word, Father. So wow, I gotta get this Jesus. down in ya. The mm. this <laughs> hey. oh, hey. that this oh that this that God is doing, it cannot be stopped. But you gotta wrap your mind around that first. You gotta ask God to to unleash the revelation of His tipping point mm. unto you, because He says, "I don't want you to miss it. Don't miss your chance. Oh. How do you miss your chance? By your doubts, your unbelief, by your recognition of yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. I'm here to tell you, God sent me on this broadcast to announce the new day is arising and the new hey. day is now. But He also said this. Put it this way. The yeah. new day is at hand. Wow. And I said, the new day's at hand. What do you mean, God? And he said, the new day's at hand, daughter. The new day's at hand. And I said, oh, God, please, please just distinguish it down to me. Just bring the revelation. Let me, let me understand it because I got to have the revelation so I can impart it, God. Amen. And he said, the new day is at hand. Mm, and I wow. said, okay, it, let me explain it. And I said this two yeah, or three times. Yeah. And he said, uh -huh. in this day, it will be my hand. Ooh, mm, <laughs> that surprised my people. A new day is at hand. Yes, Father. And in this new day, daughter, you'll begin to deliver to your people and let them know and understand. Ha, ha, ha. Woo. That this day is in my hand. That in this day it is my hand. There is a kingdom comeback. And I am coming to bring my people. Woo, I know it's looked like despair. But I'm telling you, I'm here to deliver repair. Oh, well, it's believe. been this despair. Because it's world economics. There's despair in the world economics. But the kingdom economics are on the move. The kingdom economics hey. are on the rise. The kingdom economics are held in the hand of God. And God said, my hand is going to supply my land. Oh. My hand is going to supply my kingdom. Yeah. And I am raising up people who yeah. will understand, who will be kingdom well, minded, well, well, who will be more well, about well, the kingdom, who know that I know that I have a call inside of them, that I have a work inside of them, that I have a goal inside of them, that Jesus. I have a purpose inside of them, because I need them to build Whoa. my kingdom. I raise up paymasters, raise Whoa. up marketplacers, raise up prophets Whoa. of the marketplace, yeah, raise yeah, up yeah. and prophesy. It is not doom and gloom. Mm. It is the day of the hand of the Lord. Wow. Woo. Jesus. I know that yes, you've Father. had mm. things that you've tried in past, but I was sent by God to tell you today, and I am sent by God to activate entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, come forth. There is a fresh manna for you. There is a fresh touch yeah, for you. The hand of God will supply you yeah, in this hour. Mm. Whatever. 
I sat there. It's day. a tipping point. You should have drank. Oh, I shot that wow. It's about 150 degrees in here, y'all. Oh, praise <sighs> you, Father. It's really not, but it is under the night. Uh-huh. God said you must get this understanding, my marketplace people, my entrepreneurs, my businessmen, my businesswomen. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are at a tipping point. In mm. times previous, you were not. But this is the day and this is the news hour. This is the hour that is at hand. The hour of the tipping point. Yes, the hour in which the kingdom of God is on the move. The hour in which heaven Great. is invading the earth realm. The hour in which God says, my kingdom come, my will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I am telling you, deliver to my people, unpack to them that it is my will for kingdom supply yes, to be Father. manifested in the earth realm. Thank you, Father. My, my, my. Thank and I'm going to do Father. it through my entrepreneurs. Wow. I'm going to do it through my entrepreneur. Say it's a tipping point. It's a tipping the point. The tipping point takes you deeper. Oh, yes, many for years have been studying. Especially the last 10 years, there's been ideas. There's been creation. Yeah. There's been thought. Yeah. There's been things tried. <laughs> Others, y'all have no idea how I have tried and tried and tried to have creations. How I've done things. And for the last 20 years, whether I knew how to do them much or not, I've done everything that I could do to be able to be a kingdom paymaster. I've done all that I could do to sow seeds that when the hour came, that God would say, no longer will you sow it. Now you'll reap it. But I have for the last at least 10 solid years, I have given oh, away my I, creativeness. I, I, I. I have come given on, away everything on. of ideas, everything of every yeah. inch of creation. Yeah. Because everything in me, honey, is God's creation. Because I've never went to school. Yeah. I've never been taught nothing. I've never finished school. I had no idea. I had never went on a computer. I am self-taught. Yeah, I am Holy on. Ghost taught. And everything that I do is done by Him. And He says, you sowed that seed for such a time as now where yeah, you will be yeah. positioned oh, yeah. for a yeah. kingdom outpour where you will be yeah. positioned to be an entrepreneur of the kingdom paymasters Woo, yeah. the paymastery in which the supply from my hand Praise you, mighty is God. coming Praise you, I've mighty given God. it all away done it happily with a willing heart mm -hmm. and when God began to tool around in me about because I've tried in times past to start and offer flyer business and, and do all this. And I've done all the creations and I've done the banners and I've done the business cards and I've done the logos and I've done the web pages, but I gave it all away and happily so. But I always knew that it was a business. I always knew that God gave that creativity for supply. Mm -hmm. And God said, because I supplied for him, he'll now supply for me. And he said, and because I got aggravated and I said, Lord, I, I don't want to do that again. I've tried that. I've tried to do that, that business and nobody wanted to pay for it. And he said, it's a tipping point. Uh huh. He said the last 10 years and was nothing more than a learning field. Mm. So. Praise you, Jesus. Well, wow, praise you, Father. A tipping point takes you deeper. Somebody say, I'm going deeper. 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 Now, he began speaking to us last week, and I'm going to pick that up mm, next week about the trailblazers. Jesus. Richard had a powerful word Jesus. about the mappers and the trailblazers and Jesus. the, and the um, who are they? Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark adventurous and all that. And I was going to tip on into that. Who I like that. I was going to tip on that tonight, mm. and God said no, because I, I had a word last week, and this week he just multiplied it. And he said, no, deliver that. So we'll pick that up about the trailblazers next week. But I want us all to go to our Bibles right now. Matthew 6, Matthew 6, chapter 10. No, Matthew 6, verse 10. And I want us all to get this down in our spirit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Father God. Yes, Father God. I'm not going to do that. I, I'd be sidetracked. Yeah. You must get this spirit for the hour that we're in. You must get this in your spirit. You must get the revelation. Let it drip drop down. Let it drip drop down. Let it drip drop down. Mm, yes, Father. Over and over the other, the other day when I got this beginning part, I heard over mm -hmm. and over and I heard angels singing it. And over and over I heard your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Melody began to play and I began to see the angels and all that. And I don't have time to reiterate all of that because we took a lot of time to do announcements and everything today. 
But your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. See, his kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven is the kingdom economics. Well, amen, amen. It is his will that his kingdom economics be established in a realm and a way and a manifestation in which this earth has not seen oh, before. Oh, yes, Father. I am telling you, by yes. the spirit of the living God, the marketplace is about to take off for the kingdom people. Mm. It will be evident. Now, listen. I believe it. Listen, I'm going to be honest and straight up with you, though. There's been a time of testing. This pandemic has been a time of testing on uh -huh. who you yeah. really serve, who your first love is. It's been a time to get things in order. That's why Richard and I, we don't hardly ever talk about money. We give an opportunity to sow in, to become a partner. But God has had us hammering for the last two months. This is not a time to quit tithing. This is not Amen. a time to quit giving. This Amen. is not a time to quit to giving offerings and alms and partnerships and all that. I'm not trying to get your money. I'm trying to get his kingdom economics unto you. Amen. See, you've got, you cannot be a kingdom paymaster if you're not a tither. Yeah, come now, on A lot of now. people don't want to come speak on. this. All right? And I'm not trying to get your money, but I'm not afraid to speak about money. Amen. Because this is <laughs> his Amen. way. Amen. You cannot have and be a kingdom paymaster and have heaven flow through your business if you are not a tither. He's been Amen. taking these last two months, three months, I don't even know how long this epidemic's gone on, but to get us in line, to get us in order, to yeah. show us what really mattered, to, yes, to, yes, to get yes. us uh, out of ourselves and out of the world. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, if you yeah. only could begin to see and understand the measure of why. Somebody say why. why? Say, I need to know my why. Say, why come unto me. Amen. Why? The come measure of understanding of why the importance of this pandemic, why the importance of this isolation. What do they call it? Uh, uh, social distancing. Dis oh, my gosh. Dis distancing. Dis distancing. Distancing, yeah. It wasn't for the world way. It was to get you where you needed to be because the kingdom is on the move. We're about to see the worldwide global impact and the greatest revival ever seen. But honey, it takes Whoa. money. Come on. I mean, you do, do you just, I mean, this little simple thing here takes money. And there's still needed needs to do all we want to do. So can you imagine for a worldwide global mm. revival... It's going to take a kingdom impact. Amen. And God said, this day. It's going to be so big, it's going to take God. Yes. And that's why they'll know it's God. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. And he said, the new day is at hand. You know, I, th hand I really hand. think that's how God's going to get everybody's attention. That's why the great harvest is going to come in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When people look at the believer and say, look at them, how they still smiling, how they still function, how they still going, how they do, 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 do whatever. Yes. Yes. And that's how he's gonna that's how the loss is gonna start coming in, I believe. Amen. I do too. Could you turn that fan on? Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay, so staying with me. All right. Where's Go that? ahead and share this page over on your page. Would everybody do that for me? It's just a click of a button, real simple. Just push the share button and push post and, and it's done. And you okay. don't lose your place. Yeah. Tip it down some, baby. On one, please. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah. you. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. So your kingdom come, Matthew 16. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We got to get that deep down inside of us. Now let's go to Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2, and this is where we're going to pick up and really roll here tonight, all right? Whoa, let's Habakkuk roll. 2. Chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and engrave it plainly upon tablets that everyone who passes by. Oh my God, come on somebody. That everyone that passes by. Oh, too many oh. entrepreneurs has been in the closet. Too many entrepreneurs have been afraid ah. if they heard oh, what God said closet. or not. So they've been in the closet. They've been afraid to advertise because they've had a spirit of failure. Somewhere hit them along the line. Oh, but I'm sitting here by God to tell you today, failure is not your name. It was an activity that you once entered into. But we ain't in that activity anymore. And God said, you can rest assured. Oh, somebody better hear me. You can rest assured that you can make that vision plain now. You can rest assured that you're in a different time. You can rest assured yes, it's Lord. at a tipping point and it cannot Aye. be stopped. You can Girl. rest assured that dream inside of you is going to manifest. Praise that you, vision Father. inside of you is going to manifest. That oh. hunger and thirst and that creativity and that desire. That business of that 
of that journaling, of that journey, of that uh, extension, expansion. Thank you, Father. You can post it plain. Oh, my God. Come on, somebody. Whew. You can post it plain Whew. for everybody to see. See, now I know because I've been in a lot of businesses. I was in, in a, I don't even, can't even think of what them kind of businesses are called. But I, I've been in a lot of things that I've been afraid to make announcement about it because I announced it and it failed or I announced it and didn't get the breakthrough or I announced it and it didn't come through like I thought. Amen. I announced a lot of things that had very little productivity of it, but I'm here to tell you today the new day is at hand. The hand of God Thank is upon you, your Lord. life. The hand of God, of, the hand of supply is coming unto you. I'm here to tell you today Thank you, it's Lord. a new day. Today's the day to go ahead. Yeah, every activity, yeah. every creativity, every idea, I loosen them. Boom! In Ooh. the name of Jesus. Boom! Come Thank out you, with Lord. the freedom and the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out! Come hey! out, my creators! Go come on, out, my man. marketplaces! Come out! Woo! Mm. Come out! Come out of the closet! Whoa! Oh, hallelujah. Woo, Jesus! So he said, Habakkuk 2, 2 and 3. All right, you ready? Here we go. I yeah. hope you're sharing this broadcast with somebody. Amen. You can even share it to a text. Amen. I don't know if you know that. But the Lord answered me and he said, Write the vision and engrave it so plainly. Yes, Lord. So plainly. I loosen, boom, plainly over you right now. Because there's been a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of, of uh, past activities and stuff. And so there's been a clarity, mis uh, clarity dysfunction, malfunction, a Come malfunction on. in the clarity. But God said, boom, clarity is yours. Mm. And he said, you will be able to write plainly. You will plainly after this day. I'm telling you, I know testimonies are going to fly in. You can write me at Christy at Freedom Fire Ministry 09.com. Amen. You can write the testimonies. We want to share it. We might even bring you online next week because I'm hey. telling you, this is a now word. This is an active word. Amen. Ooh, now. God says you can write it plainly. Oh, I don't know who's on the broadcast that needs to hear this right now. You can write it plainly. Oh, you don't have to worry about peer fright. Oh, you don't have to worry about, 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 about other co-workers. You don't have to worry about about other headships. You don't have to worry about your husband. Oh my God, I heard that. Oh. You don't have to worry about your husband fighting you this time. Oh. Come on now. You will not shrink back because this is a new day that is at Amen. hand. We're in it the is. day yeah. in which the hand of God, yes. the supply of God is coming to the earth realm. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Praise you, Jesus. I loosen businesses right now in the name of Jesus. I call them into existence. I call them out of the creative thought process, out into the plainly written process, and yeah. manifestation. I said, line upon line, precept upon precept, everything's going to work this time. Oh, Rabbi Thank Sector, Lord. others Thank are Lord. getting bread new yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a creative anointing in the atmosphere. With the fire of God, it is going forth. I mean, just grab you hey. some, just grab you some, just grab you some. Woo, stir, 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 I stir you up, I rekindle, I reflame you right now in the name Ooh. of Jesus. Mm. I call forth your, I call forth those that was called to walk beside you to prosper you. I call forth the connectors right now in Jesus' name. I call forth the investors right now in Jesus' name. I call forth the new growth uh, in Jesus' yeah. name. I rebuke, rebuke right now the stunted growth. Uh, yeah. I remove the dams. Yeah. Uh, God yeah. said the dam was there for such a time as then, but now it is not. Oh, boom, there it goes. I'm telling you, some of you in this broadcast, get your pen, get your paper, begin to write it down because you're going to get ideas. You're going to get ideas. Uh, there's yeah. creative Getting kingdom them. ideas uh, that is put down into you. Listen, no business is too small and no business is too big. Mm, praise God. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Whew. Come on. So he said, we're still back in Habakkuk 2, 2 and 3. All okay. right? Yeah. He said, the Lord answered me and said, now the Lord is answering you right now and he's saying unto you, oh my goodness do you hear me child of God? Do you hear me man, woman, child alike? Oh man, do you hear me? I'm telling you this is going across the airwaves to not just our nation but the nations. I'm telling you Italy is online and I'm telling you Italy get ready to open up. Get ready get hey! ready, get ready, get ready. The kingdom mandate is done. The kingdom invasion has come. It's a tipping point. So he said hmm Somebody's going to do hair extensions. I just seen that. <laughs> Woo! Praise Somebody is God. about to open up a business with hair extensions. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, I think mm. I know who it is. Too. Woo! Wow. Hallelujah. So he said, ah, write the vision. He's saying to you now, write the vision. And some of you are going to be surprised when you go to writing. You're going to be thinking of yesterday and it's going to shift into today and your paper's going to be different than what you wrote previously. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Plainly upon tablets and everyone who passes may be able to, I ring out, I amplified, read it easily and quickly. 
as he hastens by. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Oh, yes, and yes, it yes, yes. Hastens to the end. What does that mean? It hastens to fulfillment. I am sent here by God to declare a loosening of fulfillment. Fulfillment of your dreams mm -hmm. and your visions, over your yes, creations, Lord. over every artistic person. No matter if that creation is in numbers, I'm seeing numbers, somebody in accounting, somebody dealing with numbers, somebody that, oh, hey, mm -hmm. I'm seeing hey, all kinds of numbers. It's just like they're all of a sudden multiplying. Oh, man, get ready for a multiplication. Mm. Hey, so he said. For the vision is yet for the point of time, and it hastens to the end, to fulfillment. It will not. I'm, do you hear me? I'm pronouncing. Oh, thank you. Sorry, we lost broadcast. I am announcing to you today. It will not deceive, and it will, it will not, not disappoint. disappoint. Mm, praise Though it God. tarry, wait earnestly for it, because it will surely come, and it will not be hand, behind handed on its appointed day. Let me tell you what. God sent me here today on this broadcast to announce it is the appointed day. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Father. Now let's let's go a little deeper. Here we go. I was given the word for kingdom paymasters. Again, many of God's people in this very hour are at the tipping point are going to begin to gain their influence. I release influence right now. God told me that women, many women, would be watching this broadcast that we're in business, and God says you're going to have the influence that you're needing for that elevation. Mm. Wow. And your influence is going to be so much, it can't be stopped. Remember the tipping point? Then you're not going to need to go looking for them. They're going to look for you. I'm telling you what, God told me to announce on this broadcast, business is looking for you. So you're not going to have to go through the struggles. I'm. Oh, I don't know who you are that's thinking about opening up a new business. Go ahead and do that thing. Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Because God said people will look you down for business. You won't need to worry about making, making business cards, though I can make you some. Amen. You don't need to worry about that. God said, there's a looking anointing upon this word. There's a looking anointing upon his kingdom paymasters. There's a looking anointing upon those that are kingdom minded. Amen. And he said, businesses are going to begin to look for you to do what they need done. He said, wow. people are going to begin to look to you for what they need done. God said, I'm sending them. You don't need to look. They're Thank going to you, find Lord. you. You don't need, listen, you've got to understand this. You don't need to waste a bunch of money on advertisement, though I can make you a flyer. Amen. You don't need, what I'm talking about is people have this, 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 this idea of world economics in business building, which is you spend the first several years, Richard, you spend mass money on marketing. You don't make much profit. I mean, you spend mass marketing, mass this, mass that, just to get the word out there. I'm here to tell you that's not the kingdom paymasters. Uh, that's not the kingdom economics. You're not going to need all that. I'm not saying don't advertise, advertise. But I am saying that you're not going to need that in order to survive. God says uh, you're not going to mm, survive. You're going to thrive. Mm, yeah. When you said that, it's gonna be. It's gonna come through the spirit. Yes. Yes. It's gonna be the unction of God. When when God gives you the unction, there's gonna be somebody come write a check for you. Yes. Yes. There's gonna be an unction for somebody just to open up a store. Yes. It's all gonna come from God through the spirit. That's what He yes. just said. And His supply will be upon it. Yes, it will. Amen. His supply will be will be upon it. Somebody wants to go into auto mechanics. Go ahead. The mm. Lord's got you. Wow. And he told me to say those exact words. Thank the Lord's you. got you. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right. So here we go. Let's go on down. Okay. So he said, God's people in this very hour of the tipping point are going to begin to gain their influence of the marketplace. And with it comes grand opportunities. Somebody better be writing Ooh, that down. Grand. With it comes grand opportunities whoo, to open businesses. Thank you, Father. To reach farther than previously reached. Oh, boom. There uh -huh. it is. Whoa, to reach whoa, whoa. farther than previously reached. He is taking over the marketplace in this hour. It is vital that you keep our presenting. Remember, we talked a few weeks ago about Elijah then presented himself on the seventh Amen. cloud out of Amen. first Kings. Okay. We're, we're not going there tonight, but keep yourself presented. In other words, what's that do? That takes us right back up to Habakkuk. Get out of the closet. Present yourself. Yeah. Present yeah. your idea. The people that might, you are afraid that's going to say no is going to be behind you and it's going to flip your lid. <laughs> hey. It might even flip their lid too. Amen. <laughs> but it don't matter. Lives to be a flip. Hey. Amen. Whew. Praise you, Jesus. You must keep presenting yourself. Yes. And our presentation in which we are taught in previous messages a few weeks ago, all right? So yep. here we go. Here we go. 
For in this hour of tipping point, why the riches of the world, somebody better hear, are you listening? Is, is anybody hey, hey, out there? Come on now. Can I see some thumbs up, some hearts, some something? I want to see that I got your attention, or I don't. I, he's Ooh. got your attention. Amen? Because listen to this. Come on now. There we go. I see him. While the riches of the world deteriorate, yes. the kingdom is rising. And it is about to overtake the world market. Praise it God. It is a comeback. All right? So here we go. I believe with all my heart that I heard the Lord say this to me. In the tipping point of the comeback, with it comes the wealth of the, the wicked. wicked. That was laid up for the just. It is a break. I believe I heard the Lord say in the tipping point comes the release of this era of that of which Proverbs 1322 speaks of. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. That's a pretty big mm, blessing. Somebody better now. say generational blessing. See, generational the point blessing is the point in which the curse is overtaken and the blessing is active. Mm. See, the curse has been broken for years and years and years. Yeah. But you hear all the time about breaking generational curses, but you never hear about releasing generational blessings. Mm, you don't. Wow. I only know a couple of people wow. that they go, they have the revelation and they are very prosperous. Yes, but they're yes. prosperous, they are kingdom paymasters, and they make jobs for other people because they understand. And they, when you talk to this woman, she'll say, I believe our family is under the generational blessing. Amen. We all have that right. Oh, come and on. And they're now. tithers and they're givers. Yes. Yes. And they understand that all they have isn't for them to just keep and gain. It is to make prosperous others. Give, and it will be given back to you. Press down, shaking together, overflowing. That's why they continue to have That's a financial, financial overflow. Overturn, yes. overturn. Yes, and they go buy businesses, not because they need another one, but to supply people jobs. Mm. Uh, and you know what's so beautiful about it? They they hire people that the world won't hire. They hire they believe in yeah. giving second chances. They believe that's their ministry is to give people second chances Amen. to supply them with a way to supply for themselves to yeah. not give a handout but a hand up. Amen. Oh yeah. And it's beautiful. Somebody say Kingdom Paymasters. Kingdom Amen. Paymasters. So it says here in Proverbs. Th I'm freezing now. I'm sorry, Richard. In Proverbs 13, 22, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. I believe there is a mass rearrangement. Come on now, somebody. There is a mass rearrangement, and he is aligning the tipping point over in which he will rise to influence his people oh. as well as the marketplace. In a way, not ever seen by our eyes before. Oh, that is what it. he told me. Oh, I believe it. In a way... Not ever seen by our eyes before. Mm. He began to tell me that not even seen before in the history in which you can recall. Wow. Now that's pretty good because I learned some history. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I began to hear the next 30 days there is something about the 30 that keeps he keeps giving me. Every week he starts announcing something about 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. And then I heard him say to me for tonight, then I heard him say 30 times 2. Now well, I thought it very interesting that he didn't just say 60. Yeah. yeah. He said 30 times 2. Now I'm, I know I'm very sorry. Can you go turn that back on but tip it all the way up? It was just direct on me yes, because I'm soaking yes, wet right. from the anointing. It froze me, but now oh, I'm fine. Okay, can, can you get this with me? He said, okay. tip it all the way up. Perfect. Goes to my head, not here. Yeah. Perfect. He said, okay, guys, please, I need you to get this. Are you with me? I, I want yeah, to take my time. I'm trying to rush because i got a lot to say, but I really want to take my time for you to get this. He then heard him say 30 times 2, which equals 60. Right. And I said, why are you telling me 30 times 2 instead of just 60? 60, yeah. And he said, because 2 is the number of testimony. Wow. I'm going to do something over the next 60 days that is going to be so testimonial. Oh, man. Praise you, Father. And the word says in Revelation, you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Mm. 
And I'm telling you that God has said he's about to do something so huge over the next 30 and 60 days, mm. amen, wow. that your testimony is going to touch the world. Your Whoa. testimony yes, is going to touch your region, your nation, amen, your testimony of the marketplace. See, this is the testimony. I'm not talking about testimony of salvation. I'm talking about the testimony of God moving in the kingdom marketplace. Marketplace. Yeah. With the kingdom economics wow. in the midst of a pandemic in a way that it cannot be denied. It's a tipping point. Thank you, Father. So well, that's good news there. I wanna I wanna release a little bit to you here what the number thirty means. As it looks as we looked at the number thirty, it is massively important in the Bible as we look into it. Amen. Jesus started his ministry at age thirty. Yes. Huh. <laughs> uh. So ministries are gonna be starting. Ah, in these Jesus. 30 days. And there's going to be such a testimony of how God did it. There's going to be such a testimony of how God aligned it. It's going to be such a testimony of how God connected it. Okay? Amen. And so did John the Baptist. Aaronic, 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 Aaronic. Priest. <laughs> I can never say that word. Were initially dedicated to serving at 30 years of age, for God likely chose the age physically wow. and mentally mature and could sense. therefore handle major responsibilities. That makes sense. Can I say to somebody watching the broadcast, the delay wasn't no, it was that maturity had to catch up for the way. Because God, when he does something, when God really does something, <sighs> it can't be turned back. But when you do it yourself and you do it in immaturity or out of alignment, it can be taken away. But when God knows that you are mature, he can then pour out to you and bring mm -hmm. you a tipping point, and that thing cannot be taken away from you. Oh, praise God, praise God. There is something physically and something mentally. God said, release this word to his people. He's touching you physically, and he's touching you mentally. There are some things physically and mentally that he has been at work on. Thank you, Father. So you could handle the responsibility. Mm -hmm. See, everybody... Thank everybody you. wants to be a part. Everybody wants to have things. Everybody wants right, everything. Right. But what happens is they want it out of timing. And they want yes. it without yeah. maturity. And then what they get, they lose. Amen. But see, when God gives, he gives it through the tipping point. And what is done through the tipping point can't be taken back. Amen. It can't be reversed. You Thank can't you. stop it. So that's Thank you, why. Father. It's not that he didn't want to bless you, whoever's listening to me. It's not he didn't want to bless you. It's not he didn't want you to be in business. It's not that he didn't want you to be successful. It's not that he said no. It is that he said there needed to be physically and mentally things matured. That makes sense, yeah. Amen. A lot of people want a lot of heavy anointing. But they're not in physical shape. Amen. For it, and that's something I'm working on now. God began telling Richard and I that... We've got to get our health really back in line. He's told us before, but he's like serious. It's like, hey, it's a tipping point. You, there ain't no going back. You can't change this. You've got to get, because I'm dumping anointing on you mm. that you've never had before, that you've never entered before. And I'm like, whoa. Well, what we got to do, we're, we're going to have to be in physical yes. shape. Mm -hmm. So what's up? The mentally is done, but the physically has got to come. Yeah. It's a tipping point. <laughs> it's okay. coming, baby. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Okay, listen here. Jesus, in 30 AD, suffered and shed his precious blood as God's sacrificial lamb for the mm. world's sins. Thank you, Jesus. In 30 AD, the New Testament church was born. Was born. Mm. Joseph was 30 years old when Pharaoh placed him in charge over all the wow. nations, and he ruled. Remember last week's word about rule? God yeah. is calling his people to come and get in kingdom mindsets and begin to rule and reign on the earth realm yes. in the measure that he originally intended it when Jesus came at 30 years Ooh. old mm. to 33 to fulfill the things of the new Testament. In 30 AD, the New Testament church was born and God said it is time now that the day is in the new hand. The new hand is at this day. New hand. There's a new hand. How did I say that? 
There's a new yeah. day at hand. And, yeah, and that yeah. hand is full of the supply of the master. Amen. Praise God. So the original intent wow. of the kingdom operation, yeah. of the kingdom economics, everything that was delivered unto us at that cross. Thank you, Jesus. Resurrection power. Thank you, Jesus. It's being granted afresh because it was granted long ago, but the people right. of God have not been operating in it. We've Ooh. been operating in world economics. It's always been there, but we weren't mature enough. Right. To do this. To do this. Wow. Exactly. So What a word. What a word. I know we are for the next 30 days times two. And I'm just going to say it that way because that's how he spoke it. Yeah, I'd say me. it that way then. The next 30 days times two, which is 60, to press through into your promises. It is a tipping point. As I began to pray about the marketplace and gain insight to what he was doing in this within this tipping point season, he began to share with me for those of whom you've been beat up in the marketplace. Who am I talking to? Wow. Who am I talking to? Oh, I know who you are. Mm -hmm. Please share this. Somebody been beat up in the marketplace. Somebody called it quits. Come on, I got a word for you. He began to share with me with those of whom you've been beat up in the marketplace or you have been beat up in your ministry. You've also struggled with where to target your message or your business and that has uh -huh. almost paralyzed you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've taken a lot of hits from others. It exhausted you and even caused you to think that maybe you are doing something wrong. But God says, No. Amen. You're not doing nothing wrong. Amen. You're not doing nothing wrong. You're not doing nothing wrong. You've done everything right. You stayed faithful even when the enemy was telling you the opposite. You stayed faithful even when people spread vicious lies about you and Whoa, attacked you come on for now. no reason. God says that every word wrongly spoken about you will shrivel up and fall to the ground. It will not prosper. But God said in this hour, when you step into the hand of the day, when you step into the tipping point, I'm going to do you like I did, Samuel. I'm going to cause you to understand the power of choices in hey, your voice. Come on I'm going to cause a fresh wind, a fresh fire, and a fresh Whoa. rain. And I'm going to thunder down upon your life and I am going to cause you to yes, begin Lord. to speak a thing and it shall be and you shall be like Samuel and not one word of your mouth will fall to the ground without producing what I ordained for it to produce God said loosen your tongue loosen your Ooh, tongue over yay. your businesses loosen your tongue over your creation loosen your tongue up entrepreneurs loosen 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 your tongue and watch then what I do watch oh, grab man. hold of my my will yeah. Grab hold of come my on. will for my kingdom come my will be done on earth as it is in heaven yes, grab Lord. hold of my tipping point hear my voice and none other will you follow tipping and as point. you begin to follow me in this season in this day that the hand is at hand it will be like none other season you have had and it will be a time in Watch which you Lord. will speak that because I will cause you to speak what I am willing to be done on the earth realm yes. I am telling you that my kingdom come my will be done on earth as it is in heaven yes, I am telling you that it is my will that my kingdom pay masters rise it is my will that my uncle entrepreneurs rise. It is my will that my kingdom economics not mm. just comes, but that it is shown to a dying world. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. God wow. said, I am trying to align the right people so that what you need to be asking him, he has also opened up a door and a lot of time and a lot of money. Wait, well, sorry. He has also opened up a door and you are a little nervous about walking through it. Who are you? He said there would be five people on the broadcast live that would be nervous about going on through to the open door. Go on through. Amen. Go on through. Go on he has through. opened a door and you are a little nervous walking through it because of your past. But today hey, I serve past notice and I say the past will no longer dictate what you do from today in your future. Mm. Because you invested a lot of time and a lot of money into your ideas. Richard and I have had so many ideas and, and oh my gosh, Richard, do you remember back? It was clear about Connie back in like uh, 2001. And oh my gosh, we were just hubbing it, barely making it. Yes, but Richard, I remember. Richard's artwork is so amazing. 
I mean, so talented. It's, it's just, it's amazing. And, and so we heard that we would sell his art and create it and to go produce it. Yep. And so, well, how many knows you need a little maturity that God's not going to tell you to go spend <laughs> all your money and not have Amen. money for rent. Amen. To go spend it. But we set up the, to go to, what do you call them? The little places. Uh, art festivals. Art festivals. And so we put all of our money in, in producing prints of his artwork and getting frames and, and little envelopes, sleeves to put them in. And, oh, it was nice. And we spent money to get these booths. And we wasn't mature enough, I guess. Well, no, we wasn't. It wasn't time. I don't know. We just thought it was, na you know, I don't know. I don't know. But God was very faithful. And our very last one, he had a sell. Somebody came up and loved these two pictures so much. Yeah. They gave Richard an astonishing amount of money. For these well, two I'll, pictures. I'll just be real honest. I wasn't mature enough, but I, I was doing it for the money. Right. I, I wasn't doing it for the glory of God or nothing right. else. For the Because we were starving. I trusted Jesus and all that to a point. But it broke me. It broke my... It crushed my little heart because yeah. my heart wasn't selling. Because, you know, yeah. I've been standing on that for... Well, ever since I can remember. Yes. Yes. But it's now is the time. It's starting yes. to come around now. So we gave that artwork all away. I mean, we had... Hundreds. Yeah. And then, oh, it was great blessing because we got to bless a lot of people. Matter right of fact, then. Kathy Hansen, or Harris is taking her picture and making flags with yes, it that, yes. all of them years ago. Amen. So it was beautiful and it was seeds into the kingdom for now. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Somebody needs to understand you've invested a lot of time and a lot of money and you're you've asked this question Should I invest more? Different idea, maybe the same idea, whatever, different season. This may have been years ago, but, but you've had the question, should I invest more? Yeah, let me clarify, too. You may, it, it may not have, be nothing to do with your maturity. You might be mature. It just wasn't, it's, it's not the time. Right, right. I wasn't mature, and it wasn't the time. Right, <laughs> right. Amen. But God was faithful. Amen. And it doesn't always mean something's wrong. It just means no. not yet. No, no. It's just not yet. It's just not yet. But now we're in the yet. Okay? Oh, All right? yeah. So because you're, you've are you invested a lot of time and a lot of money, should you invest more? Should you either hire someone again or align? <laughs> align with people again? Somebody has had those questions about business, but not just business. They've had those questions about ministry. Should I trust again? Should I do that again? Should I put myself out there again? You know, should I? God said, yes, I got a brief word about your finances and I'm going to tell this to you right here. You've been hit hard here. Many in this pandemic have been hit hard, but I'm here to announce to you it's a tipping point and you're about to make tipping a comeback. Tipping point. The setback was a setup for a comeback. It's a tipping point. Do not lose that focus. God is showing you another level of financial realm. Kaboom! Mm, there it is. It is. Woo! I felt that. that I just I had lightning go through my body. That is why he wants to take <laughs> oh, you deeper in your heart. Did I just say that? I did. I didn't say deeper in him. I said deeper in your heart. Yes. <laughs> he is trying to show you something in the financial realm. He spoke to me, all whom had ears to hear what the Spirit is saying will be impacted by this. Allow him to be your CEO. He knows mm. how to help mm. you prosper. Yield like you've never yielded before to his voice. He is going to align you with the right people to get you where he desires yes. you to be financially. It's a tipping point. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just, and he is handing out the comebacks. The plans of it is now yours. Even now, this moment, and for the next few months, there will be so much shared in this kingdom payback street in the realm of finances and financial growth. God began to speak Praise as I was Father. studying. He had me come across this article and he began to speak to me, share that article. And I said, okay. It began to speak about spiritual and tangible tools. Okay. Amen. There are tools he has placed in front of you. Boom. Let them appear. Did you hear me? Stop looking for something else. It's right in front of you. Okay. It's right in front of you. If you will just simply ask the Holy Spirit which tool to grab with each step, He will show the way. I'm telling you, this is a revelation for somebody. This will set you free. This will deliver you. This will thrust you into the next realm. This will thrust you. This is it. This is the thrusting point right here. If it's your business you are growing, there is a tool. Boom. There it is. It's right in front of you. If there's an idea you are setting on, boom. There's the tool. It's right in front of you. If there's a book you want to, to write, boom. There's a tool to bring it to fruition. 
vision. It is in front of you. There is tools all around you that God has lined up for you. Just go ahead this moment and say, tools come unto me. Tools appear unto me. Look right in front of you. He is developing them to you right now, even as I speak in the spiritual realm. You are beginning, boom, room, release of vision, release of sight right now in the name of Jesus. Tools appear unto them. I am telling you, whatever of creation, that whatever idea, whatever witty invention that God has given you, I am telling you, he sent me on this broadcast to tell you the tool is right in front of you. Whew. Whew. All right. All right. God ought to be prepared. Listen, take your Bibles. Go to Revelations 12, 14 real quick with me. God has already prepared eagles waiting to fly to you. As it says in Revelations 12, 14, it says this. The woman was given the two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness. Now, we talked about last week the trailblazers making a road, paving a road where there was no road. We talked about Lewis and Clark, amen, how right. they mapped out right. everything. God says, we take Revelation 12, 14, take it to heart. If you'll get it by revelation, if you'll get it by your spirit, things will never be the Whoa, same for you. You'll on. never weigh things the same again. Get this, That's the right. woman was given two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of, boom, there it is, where she would be taken care of, for a times, times, a half time out of the serpent's reach. Did you oh, hear yeah. me? Out of, of the, the serpent's, serpent's reach. reach. Now, Richard, we just shared, and you had to go in. I want you to get this about the tools. You had to go out. Okay. Whatever okay. tool you need is in front of you. I want you to go back over this video and make sure you get I this. I will. I will. So if there is ever a time... Please hear me. I know the broadcast is over an hour and I know and I'm going to keep going. I probably got about 30 more minutes or so. I want you to hear me, please. By, by the spirit of the living God, hear what I have to say to you. Now is the time to build your dream. Mm. Yeah. Now is the time for the children of God yeah. to build their dreams. The tools right in front of you. Jesus. This is it. God told me somebody needed to hear those words. This is it. God says that he is shielding you from the enemy so that you will fulfill the mantle he has placed on your life. Say it with me. You, it God. is a tipping point. It is a tipping point. Do not back down. Go back out in the game one more time. Ooh, yeah. He needs you more than before. Oh, somebody Come needs to on, hear that. Now. He needs you now more than before. before. You are his champion, wow. which is why you have faced so much opposition in the marketplace, in ministry, and in your personal life. It is so important for him to see you greatly succeed. Mm. Did you catch that phrase? It is so important to him yes. to see you greatly succeed. Ugh, we keep losing service. Pray with us. Listen, I got a word for you. He said you did not come this far for him to drop you off. You did not come this far. You did not have all those abilities and creativities and desires and, and witty inventions and witty ideas and strategies and blueprints for him to just drop it off. Amen. God right. is the author and the finisher. What he starts, he finishes. And he started yeah, in right. you that that's creation. Right. He started in you that idea. He started in you that hunger. He started in you that thirst. He, he started in you that stirring. He started in you the idealism <laughs> of the things of manifestation. And so he said, please understand, I finish all that I start. Praise mm -hmm. you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. What he has for you now is bigger than you asked for in the past. He is doing this because he loves you. And for no Amen. other reason. Amen. But because he loves you. He is doing this because he wants to heal your heart. Mm. Somebody got so devastated by personal things. Somebody got so devastated by things in their ministry. Somebody got so devastated by things of business, things of, of trial and error. Somebody got so devastated. But I'm telling you, God said today, I'm healing your heart. He is doing this because he believes in you. He is doing this because he knows you have everything it takes. Come on, hear these words. To build his kingdom. Mm. I feel that we are entering into this process for us to ultimately come to the place that God wants us. Amen. And that place is called the tipping point. 
And the trailblazers are coming with yes, it. Yes, Father. We'll share more on that next week. But this means individually as body of believers and as kingdom citizens and as part of the mighty government of God in the earth realm. This includes God's plans for those who will enter into his kingdom yes. in this coming year. This remains a sober time of seeking him and knowing him and obeying, obeying him. him. As we go deeper into 2020, the Lord said no more business as usual. He has drawn a line of separation and there shall be sudden changes. There shall be sweeping changes. And the Lord will begin Ooh. to release his power and his glory Yay. upon the land for change. Yes, Lord. For transformation and for repentance. Yes, Lord. The prophetic word in which I want to establish now in this point of the broadcast is he began to speak and he began to say, unpack. For I am preparing my remnant mm. to go forth in this hour. Thank you, Father. To set the captives free. And mm. not in a measure like they have thought previously. Thank you, Father. I am going to cause my marketplace people, my marketplace prophets, mm. my marketplace people of prophecy to be active in the marketplace. The marketplace will never be normal again. It will never be just a place that you go to get supply for the worldly things. Mm. It will be, the marketplace will be known as a place of kingdom pay mastery. It will be a place in which people will come and get not just worldly items they need to live, but what they well. need for their spirit yes. as they come. There will be many coffee shops opening, and these coffee shops will be full of places of Bible studies. They'll be full of places that serve coffee, serve food, and serve fellowship. Did you hear me? That's many right. of you will have ideas of opening up and becoming entrepreneurs of places of such coffee shops, of such existence. A place where people come and fellowship a place where people come and fellowship. A place where people are fed spiritually and naturally. God said it will be a place in which my captives will be set free. I'm overtaking the marketplace and it will not be yes, like yesterday. Father. It will not be like the day that you've seen before. It will be a day of new. It will be a day of my hand embarking my yes, will Father. upon the earthland. It will be a day of fulfilling the call that I have placed upon them. Many people that have thought they weren't called will understand that God called you to the marketplace. That is your calling mm, to yes. be in the marketplace. And he said, I, that which I am calling, that I have placed upon them to reestablish the truth and the integrity of the world in the lives of my people. For I have called them with a holy calling and I have given them a heavenly mandate that will establish the kingdom rule and reign, which must be implemented mm. in this time called now. And I will restore order and glory upon all my people. Yes. I shall fulfill my covenant. And my glory will come upon them as light shining out of darkness. And all mm. shall Praise know, you, please get those words, Praise and all you, shall know, know that the time has come. For a new day yes, Father. is at hand, saith the Lord. Yes, Father. For many will rise up and know my heart and understand my plans. For in their time of manifestation, my will and my purpose will be clear. Yes, Lord. I rebuke fog. I rebuke Jezebel and every aspect yeah, in which she has it, brought it. fog unto the people of God. I rebuke you and I uproot now. you and I plant in the clarity and the simplicity yes. and the truth of, God. truth of God. Be clear now. Now. Many have had foggy headedness. Ideas come in and they go out. You forget them as quick as they come in. That be done with in the name of Jesus. I yes. rebuke the principality of Baal. And it's wicked rulers. Yes. Oh, off of the people of God in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus over us. And I say the fog will be no more. They will walk with the mandate upon their feet and their hands. And they shall be ready to win and to war. To win and to war. 
And God began to speak and he said to take the spoils and their mouths will be filled with the utterance of my truth. For the time is at hand and the acceleration has begun and my Yay. hand shall be mightily upon the land to touch the hearts of those who are open to receive my love and to receive my grace. This is the tipping point. Do not lose thought upon my tipping point mm. and it's how I am releasing it is I am building line upon line, line. precept Dipped. upon precept. Yes, Father God. There oh. are those who have prayed. And there's those who have sent utterances. Oh, your prayers goodness. and your utterances have came up before me, he said. Mm. And they shall rejoice, he said to me. Christy, tell my people, your prayers have come up to me. And you will rejoice because I am raising a people in this day that will build up the waste places in the Whoa, lives of those yes. who have lost their way. Yes, Father. Now, I want you to understand, kingdom paymasters, you will be paving the way. You will not just be manifesting that which is in you. You'll be paving the way. You'll be the Lewis and the Clark. Shut up. The world hey. has not seen hmm. the measure of kingdom economics before that will be suddenly delivered through this tipping point yes. into the earth realm. As God is dismantling you, worldly economics in His mm. people and heaven's establishment mm. and heaven's kingdom economics in the mm. earth realm, wow. there is a core that will be mm. dumped into apostolically, quickly, for not just them, but to literally be the leaders and the entrepreneurs of kingdom pay mastery. Oh Thank my you, gosh. Father. Wow. Praise Whew. you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Father. Whew. Thank you, mm. Father. Oh, I see it. I see it. They will restore the foundations oh. for many generations to come, and they will be known as repairers of the breach. Mm. Yes, Father. Repairers of the breach. Breach in people's hearts. Breach in manifestation. Breach mm. in financial realms. There is so many breaches right now. But he took me to Isaiah 58, 12, and it says, And your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. Yes, you shall God. rise up the foundations of buildings that have laid waste. Wait. Come on, y'all. I'm talking to the paymasters. I'm talking to the hey, entrepreneurs. I'm talking to the marketplace. Mm. For many Buildings that have laid waste for many generations. You shall be called repairs of the breach. Restores. Come on, somebody get this. Restores of the streets uh, to dwell oh, in. Oh, Jesus. Mm, praise God. Whew. Hey, that is it. Many uncertainties have first. Yes, yes, you please. Said, you, come said, on. you said the repair, repair of the street. Yes. Well, I just felt like there's somebody going to start a, a, a ministry and it's going to be called Sweet Street Sweepers. Ooh, Street Sweepers. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I just what I wow. heard. That's crazy, and I just what I heard. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord, let that manifest. Mm. Let that happen. Don't let them shrink back. I just seen somebody's got a business that goes door to door. Uh. You know, like the old time salesman mm -hmm. back in the day, but it's the new era way. Ding <laughs> dong, Avon's calling. Yeah. Entrepreneurs rise. Mm. The Lord showed me that there has been many uncertainties and frustrations. Many have been frustrated and set in confusion in the midst of many during this pandemic. The lack of faith has troubled the minds of many who have lost hope. But I have positioned you, saith the Lord, so that you can reach out and I am bringing help and others are coming to you. Others that have fainted, Yay. I am coming and I am bringing strength this day. The Lord showed me that Thank he has you, ordained now the rising of the hidden things. The rising of, of the, the hidden, hidden things. things. Wow. And they will become revealed to us in the month starting now, but specifically in the next 60 days. Which will take us Thank you. through to the mid July. Thank you, Father. Mm. Mark four twenty two says, "For there is nothing hidden which shall not be revealed, nor has anything been kept secret, but that is should come to light." 
1 Corinthians 4, 5 says, Therefore judge nothing. He will bring to light what is hidden in the darkness and will expose the yes. motives of men's heart. At that time, each will receive his praise from God. He revealed to me that some of the hidden things that would be revealed in these coming months would be these. Are you ready? Get your pen, get your paper. Yeah, come on. And we're going to write these down and we're going to wrap up this broadcast. Amen. Here with, uh, well, I got a few more. Hidden things that he wants to reveal in this hour. Number one, hidden yeah. manna. Mm. There is hidden manna that the tipping point wow. Thank will you, reveal. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hidden wisdom that the tipping point will reveal. Amen. Hidden revelation that the tipping point will reveal. Hidden doors of opportunities that the tipping point will reveal. Hidden um, agendas that the tipping point will reveal. Because our agendas must be His agendas uh, yes, in yes, order for the reception yes. of the tipping point. Hidden riches. God kept bringing to me up that scripture. Uh, Richard, will you use your phone and get Deuteronomy 8.18? And it's about getting the, I give you the power to gain wealth, but I want to read it accordingly. Hidden riches and hidden mysteries. The tipping point will reveal hidden mysteries. Eight what? Eight eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Here. Just a minute, just a minute. Get your okay, I can't, I can't see it. Deuteronomy 8.18, But you shall earnestly remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant, which He swore to your fathers as it is this day. And if you forget the Lord your God and walk after other gods mm. and serve them and worship mm. them, I will testify against you this day that you shall surely perish, like the nations which mm. the Lord makes to perish before you. We got to make sure that we're about His agenda. We got to make yes, sure that as He does this outpour, as He does this tipping point, do not forget who gave you the power to get well, oh, I'm not going to forget. Oh, really? You forget tithing. You forget offering. You forget. See, that's Come what on. I'm talking about. He's given the kingdom wealth. He's raising kingdom paymasters. He's raising the marketplace with kingdom economics in order to establish and build his kingdom. Yes. And yes. in that, you will be overflow blessed. Amen. He mm -hmm. wants to give you all the desires of your heart. But man Praise can you, easily Jesus. confess that they'll do right by God until yeah. it happens. Amen. I've seen it over and over and over. People go astray or people, oh man, if I had money, I'd tithe. If I had money, I'd give. If I had money, then get money. And then That's right. Hoard it up. Yeah. So I charge you, as this hidden thing's coming, make sure and guard your heart. Mm -hmm. All right? Let's see. Hey, that I see. Hallelujah. Thank mm -hmm. you, Father. God began to speak, and I'm going to close here tonight's broadcast thank you i've still got more i haven't it, it's just too much i i don't it's too much to deliver amen so we'll we'll pick up next week on the rest of this marketplace anointing yeah that's good this, this marketplace this tipping awesome. point but god said there's trouble in our financial structure and supernatural provision uh -huh. he is calling his people to be prepared and to be ready you must be ready to hear his voice and allow him to physically shift finances and Ooh. means for great necessity into your hands. Oh, Jesus. God's desire, please hear me. My kingdom come, my will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is God's desire mm. to deliver unto you, to cause you to be ready. No, he's telling you your alignment is for you to be ready to hear his voice and allow him. Somebody say, I'm allowing I'm allowing. I'm going to allow him. I'm going to allow him. You got to get that down. You got to convince yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to allow him to physically shift finances yes. and means for great necessities into your hands. I am telling you, God told me there's investments that are about to pop. There is things that have had direction from God to invest in. And it's about to pop. Yes, Lord. It is about to oh, pop. Oh, yes, Lord. And it is for the kingdom economics. It's for building the kingdom. Yes. It's for being a supply source 
he runs through for his kingdom. Yes, Father. In order to do this, you must first be ready to hear his voice. Amen. Number two, you must be kingdom-minded. So your homework is to seek the Father. Where am I not kingdom-minded? Mm, Father, what good. does kingdom-minded mean? Explain it to me. Show it to me. Develop it in me. I don't want to miss my chance. Oh, come on. And number three, it's vitally important for you to get kingdom principles into your understanding. Mm, amen. This is the foundation Yes. Of the release of kingdom wealth. He spoke and he said, even when these tangible things means will no longer get you through. In other words, he said, daughter, I know people's lost jobs. I know the oil field's gone down. I know that many that have had ample supply are without any right now. And right, they're in right. terror. Yeah. We talked to a gentleman the other day. Yeah. He said, daughter, all they got to do is turn to me. Amen. But he's showing what is his source and what is not. You know, we took a huge cut ourselves, so it's not like we understand. We're not making light of it. But he said, even when those tangible ways of means, tangible ways of supply, tangible ways of income, means will no longer get you through. Right. He said, tell my people. Ooh, here it is. I shall lead you. Yay. I shall guide you yes. and I shall direct you. Yes, Father. I shall lead you, I shall guide, guide you, you, and, and I, I shall, shall direct, direct you. you. And it will become you, evident that I am Thank here you, to supply your needs according to my riches. Mm. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Glory, yeah. glory, glory, glory. Guys, wow. he's going to open up wells of resources to us. We're going to pick oh, up. Would you mark? Baby. We'll pick up right there. Yeah. Next week, we're going to pick up. Right here where we left off. Understanding the transferring of wealth. Understanding the hour of the marketplace. Understanding the tipping mm. point of the kingdom economics Thank you, Father. in today's world. A Thank new day is at hand. Yes, it is. And the day at hand is the supply of God. Amen. The hand that is at this new day is the hand of Almighty. Elohim. Oh, praise you, Father. He is ready <coughs> to release resources. Will Amen. you position yourself? Are you ready? Amen. We just loosen every creativity right now. Richard, go ahead and, yeah. and pray and, oh, and prophesy yeah, anything yeah. that you feel. Yeah, let up, bust it, this. let up, I see it. Now, Father, we just release all the prosperity of you. Father, let the hearts turn back to you. Let the let the eyes turn back to you. Let the ears turn back to you, Father God. That's what this pandemic's been about. Do, are you going to trust me? Are you going to trust me? Yes. Yes. Even do you need me? Yes. Do you need me? So, Father, I just release your great power. Yes. Your great power, Father. And Father, I thank you. I thank you for what you're doing. This is a new time. This is a new hour. It's a new creation mm -hmm. that He has created now. Yes. You're yes. talking about witty inventions and, and, and art and everything else. He's the creator of it. Mm -hmm. He'll give you great great ideas, great inventions. Mm -hmm. It's going to come to you. I declare that over you right now in the name of Jesus. I just declare you better get a bigger bill phone. <laughs> Amen. You better open another bank account. Mm. Because God is saying, God is saying, God is saying... This is how I am going after the lost. Yes. This is how I'm going after my harvest. Yes. I just need some soldiers to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Father, we just thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do. But let us seek you in a deeper and deeper and a newer way. Let us hunt you out, Father. Let us yes. seek you down. Let us run you down. Let yes. us grab you. Yes. To get our direction. And what an awesome word tonight, Father God. So, Father, I just close out this broadcast. You got something I, else for us? I, I, I do. And, okay. and I, I didn't plan to, but I forgot. He said it was very important to make a few decrees. 
Okay, well. And I, that is. We're going to do what bad. he said to do. That is my bad. That is my bad. So okay. if you would go to. Your, <coughs> we're going to just do a few of these. I'll do one and you do another one. Okay? Well, okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Father God, I thank you that you strategic. Now I want you to take these decrees. And if you got to replay this, do it. But we want to instill mm. these decrees into you. Okay? Father God, I thank you that you strategically placed me in the marketplace in this set season and right time. I thank you, Father, that you have transferred the wealth of the wicked to the just. I thank you for the authority you have given me over everything on the earth, above the earth, and beneath the earth. I command it to manifest in my business affairs. I decree and declare that I am joint heirs uh, with Christ Jesus. I am bursting out. I am growing. I am increasing. I am dispersing Boy, and breaking forth in all directions of the marketplace. Every principality and power and the ruler of darkness set in the marketplace must flee because the light of the Most High God has come. Where it is. Well, I'm going to do this. I command it to manifest in my business affairs. I thank you, Father, that the, you have transferred the wealth of the wicked to the just, and I command it to manifest in my business affairs. I am a true son or daughter of God. I cannot be placed under a bushel. Ooh, let that light <laughs> shine. Woo! Every principality, power, and ruler of darkness set in the marketplace must flee because the light of the Most High God has come. God, you're taking my business affairs from glory to glory. Godly influences and favor are my portions. Woo! Hey! Like hey, hey, hey. Come on now. Because I have humbled myself under the mighty hand of God, He has exalted me to be a great light where darkness once resided. Since the good hand of God is upon me, I am under an open heaven. The anointing of Mega is resting upon me, and the spirit of excellence goes before me. I have favor in every endeavor of entrepreneurship that God sets my hands to pursue. I loose the spirit of the breaker upon every blood-washed believer whom you have sealed with the seal of righteousness. My success in the marketplace is not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the true living God. I am in the perfect will of God. He has given me the power to possess the land. I am committed unto God to tithe, to pay first fruit offerings, and to be a good steward. I have God-given influence in all governmental agencies, corporations, corpora corporations, corporations, <laughs> LLCs, the education hey! system, the medical industry, industry the on. field of entertainment, sports arenas, the media arena, Hollywood, the fields of modern technology, and on Wall Street. Oh, yeah. And I love this one. I think this may be one of my favorite one right here. I'm peculiar <laughs> because I am in God's, I am in God, and because of this, people will be drawn, be drawn to my peculiarity, to that strangeness, to that weirdness, to that uniqueness. Yeah. It's going to be drawn. 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 Oh, I love that. You peculiar. I love that. I have favor in every endeavor of entrepreneurship that God sets my hands to pursue. The spirit of getting ahead of God's or what that is. And don't worry about that. That's a Greek okay. word. Okay. Is bound. My gifts and my talents will make room for me in a way that no man can deny. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Every person, place, or thing in the marketplace <clears throat> that was meant for evil against me has been turned around for my good because I love God. Whatever I bind or loose on earth is bound and loosed in heaven. And that's one we need to really start using and implementing again, binding and loosening. Yes. Every dark umbrella of demonic influences that attempted to block the rain. Hey, whoa! <laughs> Woo! 
Hey! Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. Seventh cloud, baby. Come on now. That attempted to block the reign of God over my business affairs has been distinct, dis disintegrated by the fire of the Holy Spirit. God, I thank you that I will not despise small beginnings and my latter reign will be greater than oh, my former. Oh, Jesus. Every person, place, or thing in the marketplace that was meant for evil against me has been turned around. Has been turned around for my good because I love God. Since the good hand of God is upon me, I am under an open heaven. There's more in the other pages behind it. I like this. So you don't get your pages confused. I will live a life to enjoy the work of my labor. This is my inheritance of the Lord. The magnet of the Lord is in my belly, and good things will be drawn unto me. Mm. I like that. I will be a witness in the marketplace and win thousands of souls of Jesus because, whoa, because I am wise. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, and I released that, man. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That got me. I will wow. live a life to enjoy the work of my labor. That is my heritage from the Lord. Priestly discernment and the gift of discernment will flow fluently. fluently in my life. My eyes will clearly perceive and have a revelation of what is good and what is evil. I will know and teach the difference between what is holy or unholy and clean or unclean. Oh, yeah. I abide under the Issachar anointing. The spirit of compromise is cut off from my loins forever. Ooh. The ability to blend but not bend. Woo oh yeah. <laughs> oh the ability to blend and not bend is upon me forever. I will not be weak in my faith, but rather strong in my faith, giving all credit uh, to God. I prophesy supernatural deals, contracts, oh. and promotions to all whom covenant is in business with me. To all who covenant in business with me. Oh, yeah. yeah to see. all who Ooh. covenant in business with me. Ooh. I prophesy supernatural deals, supernatural contracts, and supernatural promotions to mm. all who covenant in business with me. When you partner with us, you're yeah. covenant in our kingdom business. Amen. Woo. Let it be. Every deal is sealed. Ha. Huh. Every deal is sealed in the name of Jesus. Complete contracts are bringing more contracts. Woo! <laughs> mm. Business is increasing daily. The blessings of the Lord are chasing me down and running me over. Whoa! I do not have to run after deals. The Come spirit of the crab... Yep. Is that it? Mm -hmm. The spirit of the crab is far from me. Integrity multiplying through my loins. And I am giving birth to standard of doing business that will glorify God. Every right word I speak in the right season will hold weight in the spirit and will manifest suddenly. Wherever I am not naturally qualified, uh, I will decree supernatural qualifications. Supernatural, yay. My presence in the marketplace will add value to every person, place, and thing I come in contact with. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> My feet are beautiful and blessed because I carry the gospel of Jesus. I walk by faith and I am not moved by what my natural eyes see. Mm. I hear God and I obey God. I hear God and I obey God. That's been a big problem. I hear God, but are you obeying Him? The spirit of disobedience has been cast off. Cast off out of me in the name of Jesus. Even my children will walk in the same marketplace anointing because oh, of my yeah. obedience. My seed will dream dreams and visions that will give birth to witty inventions and ideas. The ability to create jobs is upon the whole household. The spirit of fear is ripped from me right yeah. now in the name of Jesus. My family, those associated with me in business will operate in love, power, and sound mind. Every demonic attack, spirit of distraction, and false prophetic words spoken over my business affairs are counted as null oh, and void. Oh, boy. 
The, Lord, the anointing of Nehemiah rests upon me and other servants of God in the marketplace. The ability to rebuild, restore, focus, conquer, guard, and maintain good stewardship over that which belongs to God is upon me. In Jesus' name, we pray this. And we seal this in the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Boom! Woo! <laughs> this has been part three of the tipping point, which is actually part A of the marketplace tipping point mm. revelation and impartation. We look forward to seeing you guys next Tuesday. Wait, wait. We moved it. Sorry. Next Wednesday night. Amen. At 6 p.m. right here on www.facebook.com slash highwalkers. Amen. We love you. We appreciate Yay, you. We Remember believe in tonight, you. If anyone sows a seed over $10, amen, they'll get the opportunity tonight to get one of these books of their choice, amen. Just write it down in the comments. You can send a, a donation on Cash App at dollar sign Christy Highwalker. You can text GIVE to 405-261-5446. Amen. You can go to www.freedomfireministry09.com. Click down to the bottom of the page and click the green button that says GIVE. Amen. We have donated these books tonight to Freedom Fire Ministry, so you will get a donation slip. Anything that you give, and we'll be happy to send you one of those books. Would you consider becoming a, a full-time partner with us? Amen. Because every seed that you sow into this ministry is used to help us be able to maintain the ministry and do the work of the ministry. We work for the Lord. Amen. He is our rewarder. We we work in the kingdom. It's what kingdom is what we, where we work. Amen. And uh, your seed is a seed in action like these videos here tonight. Amen. So we thank you. We bless you. We appreciate you. You can also give on PayPal forgot to tell you that amen but anyway i love you i love you i love you and we deeply appreciate you god bless you god guys. bless you guys Have we love you we love you